this way. Pamela, she was alive. Did you see what happened to her? God damn it, son of a... Take it easy, Briscoe. That wasn't Pamela. Anyway, let's hide out here for the time being. And welcome back to more Michigan Report from Hell. As you probably remember from the last video, well, we ran into Pamela, or what appeared to be Pamela, and she did not appear to be doing so well. And we kind of had to seek shelter in the next closest building, which appears to be an office building, but... They're broken. We can't get out this way. Well, it looks like the only other choice we have is to head into the... A sack company? Wow, there's even fog in here. What's with this fog? It's really creepy. Normally, I would agree that fog is creepy. I, I mean, Silent Hill actually used fog, well, extremely well. But Michigan Report to Hell more or less is just obviously trying to use it to cover up, well, some rather lackluster environments. But let's go ahead and start investigating. We do find a memo here that mentions a, well, Basically, that there should be a key around, and it should be in its normal place. Not actually sure where that could be, though. Coffee might be nice, but we're a little busy. Huh? Nah, must be imagining things. I don't know why you would be imagining coffee, Briscoe, but also get out of my way. Yeah, you will start to notice more and more that Briscoe is pretty much our white shadow, or actually I should say in this case, I, I didn't even notice he is actually, well, African American. He doesn't really look like it to me, he just kind of looks tanned. But yeah, he will be following us around rather closely for the rest of the game, I guess recording the sounds that we make? I'm not really sure. But there's not too much interesting things so far. Nope. Nothing interesting in that kitty cat. We do find a laptop here with uh, yet another note from M to D. It appears that, well, M is getting a little paranoid that they're being watched as to what they were being watched about or why they were afraid it's well unknown at this point to say the least it is a bit curious though that this random building we happened into uh, well had another message from them but well, apparently the titanic is still somewhere around and also there's an x-rated criminal on the loose Hmm. Whether or not that has anything to do with the monsters we've seen, uh, could be. What are you wasting time filming that for? Oh, Briscoe. You know my job better than I do, apparently. That's why you're the sound guy with a stupid look on his face. But yeah, what we actually need to find is this key down here that was mentioned before. I swear the first time I did this area, I could not find this thing for the life of me, but... Well, with this we should hopefully find something interesting. Huh? What's this key for? Well, thankfully, Anne, that isn't too, too difficult to find out because there's actually only one other door in this entire office. And, well, it's locked if you can believe it. So, well, if you couldn't tell where it was, it's pretty obvious because, well, Anne will walk right over to it. 
The key must be for this door. That is some uh, good detective work, Anne. door opened all by itself. Obviously, the sweaters are becoming sentient. Sweater scare. That wasn't too scary, though. What was a dead body doing in there? Hey, you. You better be getting this on tape. I bet. She tried to get away, but couldn't. We'd better go before the same thing happens to us. Let's get out of here! And yet again, we find another bloodied up body. He's dead. The poor thing. It's in a very similar state that we've seen other corpses in so far, but as yet we can't actually tell what type of wounds they're suffering from. Maybe it's from the monsters, but why on earth would they leave the entire corpse behind covered in blood? Also, yes, for all of you who, uh, Care to know, the actual original Japanese title of this game was actually Michigan, Briscoe Screams, Awesome. They just didn't think that would sell too well, it kind of, uh, you know, break the surprise. Wait! There's a monster out there! But we can't just stay here. It'll corner us. Well, it can't be that bad. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, uh... Well, Pamela does not seem to be doing very well at all. And she's going right for Anne, pretty much ignoring us, so... Maybe we should shoot her. Don't shoot! No, it isn't. It isn't Pamela anymore! If I don't shoot it, it'll kill us! No! Stop! Oh my god! That is quite the death scene, but, you know, right now we actually want to keep Anne alive, so let's see if we can't figure this little, uh, puzzle there. out. Pamela! As we could tell, the gun didn't seem to work, but there is a shiny button. Let's press that. It's the control for the shutter! I see it. what happened to Pamela, but what else could we do? 
Let's go, Briscoe. The survivor is waiting in the center building. Okay. I'm coming. I'm sorry, Pamela. Guess this is it. Goodbye. I loved you. I really did. Poor Briscoe. No love of his life. He never was able to tell her. And then she turned into a vagina monster. See you next time.